بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمد ونصلى على رسول الكريم ما بعد. This time that Allah subhanahu wa taala has given us is an amana, it's a trust, and we need to check every hour, every minute, every second of our lives. Are we utilizing it in the obedience of Allah subhanahu wa taala and making it a means of benefit in dunya and akhirah? يا أيها الذين آمنوا لا تتبعوا خطوات الشيطان. O people of Iman, do not follow the footsteps of Shaitan Iblis. Whoever does that, فإنه يأمر بالفحشاء والمنكر. Then a person is surely doing indecency and evil. So Shaitan, who is our open enemy, according to Ibn Abbas رضي الله عنهما. Is the deeds and the actions of Shaitan, or Ikrama, the whispers of Shaitan, or Qatada, Kullu Maasiya, Fahiya min Khutuwati Shaitan. Every type of sin is part of following the footsteps of Shaitan. On occasions, on days where a person is so called free, either we are going into freedom, free to disobey Allah, or free to obey Allah and get close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. All these days, all these occasions, initially if we go initiated and came from pagan beliefs, beliefs of kuf, kufr and shirk. Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu, la tattakhidhu al-yahud wa nasara awliya. Do not make the Jews and the Christians your friends, even if they are religious in their religion. Imagine if a person, a disbeliever doesn't have deen, ba'dhum awliya wa ba'dh, they will assess each other. Even if they are religious, they will take you away from your deen. وَمَنْ يَتَوَلَّهُمْ مِنْكُمْ فَإِنَّهُ مِنْهُمْ And whoever of you amongst you befriends them, then consider yourself part of them. Consider yourself part of them. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us the sirat mustaqima fattabi'uhu follow that road and road wa la tatabi'u subul if you follow any other way that will lead you astray from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the holiday the long weekend a person might feel that uh, this is an occasion we need to be seen the month of Ramadan, Sha'aban, all these dates and days, all these Mubarak Ayyam, Dhul Hijjah, etc. Opportunities for good. It should not be that free days are an opportunity for evil. Amir bin Qais used to say, أَكْثَرُ النَّاسِ فَرْحًا فِي الْآخِرَةِ أَتْوَلُهُمْ حُزْنًا فِي الدُّنْيَا If you want to be the most happiest in Akhirat, then have the longest grief in dunya, have grief for qabr, have grief for hashar, have grief for accountability to Allah on the day of Qiyamah. وَأَكْثَرُ النَّاسِ ضِحْكًا فِي الْآخِرَةِ And if you want to laugh a lot in akhirat, أَكْثَرُهُمْ بُكَاءً فِي الدُّنْيَا Then cry a lot, cry in dua, cry in front of Allah, cry and repent in front of your khaliq. وَأَخْلَسُ النَّاسِ إِيمَانًا يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ And whoever's Iman is the strongest and most sincere. أَكْثَرُمْ تَفَكَّرُمْ فِي الدُّنْيَا Are those people who ponder, remember Allah, realize the objective, and then don't get caught by these pagan festivals. Easter and the origins of the spring equinox, the celebration of the resurrection and these ancient practices which today we are calling Easter is synonymous and symbolic of the death of the sun on a cross. Death of the sun on a cross and the rebirth. Now when Isa was so called and I'm using these words Jesus was crucified and when they went to his tomb three days later so good friday crucifixion 
three days later, the rebirth of Christ where he was not in the place where he was supposed to be. And if we go back on the pagan beliefs of the Sumerian goddess Inanna, who was hung on a stake and was resurrected in the underworld. So this was a resurrection amongst the Egyptian Horus, which was born on the 25th of December. But this Horus and his damaged eye was a symbol of life and rebirth. These are not my words. Go back in the books of history, study, see the damaged eye and the symbol of life and rebirth of the Dajjal. The second Iblis, the one-eyed Dajjal who will beguile many. So it is just a reincarnation of Dajjal celebrating the coming of Dajjal, the resurrection of Dajjal. And if we see in this uh, uh, ironic twist where in other scenarios the Spring Festival began and the Day of Blood on Black Friday and the rising after three days is this resurrection. So even amongst when Christianity came in and the pagans there was rivalry of whose God was most true and who was the imitation. And Christianity was a conversion. It just evolved to suit the situation. And that's why Dean is forget rituals. Even in the good deeds of Batil is their darkness. So the spring festival and thus Easter. And the Christians have gone the sunrise services. Sun, look at the words. Sun, rise. It is not rising of the sun. It is not the rising of Isa alayhi salatu wasalam. It is the rising of Dajjal. And the dates are according to the phases of the moon. Now if we go back in history, hot cross buns was available in doses, but it was converted and Christianized where it was made legitimate, but that's signifying the cross. So we are told even those bacons, those foods stay far away from that. In the Old Testament, the Israelites used to bake sweet buns for an idol. So the church to do away with the seer, try to legitimize this ritual of the cake baking pagan woman. And this was all for Iblis, Shaitan, idol worship, which was shirk. Go back into Easter. Why was it called Easter? So the Esther Monath in Old English or the goddess named Asta. So this goddess was designation of the season and this name stuck and it was not taken away. So, so Astra or Ostara, the goddess of spring, was the dawn of fertility and it was a rebirth and uh, their rebirth was actually the festivals in April was to honor this goddess which included lavish fancy sexual rituals, be hayayi and immodesty. And the ancient Greeks where they celebrated their worship was of immodesty, of be hayayi, was shamelessness, the order of the day, the Greek god Dionysus, uh, the god of wine, fertility and madness and it was filled with augies to celebrate the son of Zeus. Again, Greek history is engulfed with showing shirk and partners with God, the Elah. And this is the climax. And the bloodline of Iblis 
simple things. The Apple logo is the first bite of Adam alayhi salatu salam which represents the fall of man, the fall of insaniyat, the fall where Iblis was successful. So they're using the apple and the forbidden apple and very interesting the first apple computer that was sold was 666.66 US dollars. So a triple six configuration, a satanic connotation. If we look at Newton as well, the apple falling from the apple tree was in the year 1666. That image was famous and that was the first Apple logo. Let's not look far away. The World Wide Web WWW according to Hebrew numbers makes the triple six Vodafone sixes. Walt Disney triple six. The Google Chrome logo triple six. The New Explorer logo triple six. It doesn't end. So these traditions are traditions of shirk, are traditions of batil. Even when Christianity came and uh, the Emperor Constantine converted to Christianity in 312 AD, then uh, the Romans were pagan, but the church compromised. The church compromised and the Celtic pagan tradition remained and uh, the rebirth of the spring season. Now if you look at it, the Easter has Easter eggs. Eggs denote and are symbolic of fertility. So they're trying to show that this is the rebirth, but it's actually the rebirth of Dajjal. And again, the Easter Bunny. The Easter Bunny, firstly, a bunny is synonymous to reproduction, reproducing like eggs, uh, reprodu reproducing like rabbits. But these rabbits so don't produce eggs. Rabbits don't normally produce eggs. But here, eggs are being produced, so symbolic to a rebirth, a reincarnation and the world, the earth is like oval shaped, egg shaped, round shaped. The On this earth a day will come where through the reproduction, firstly Behayai, because Dajjal will promote Behayai and this apple that was eaten, the first thing which Adam and Hawa lost was their clothing. When you bite of this apple of technology, you will lose your hayai and you will lose your modesty. Walt Disney promotes be hayai and immodesty. And the end, the conclusion will be the progeny and the generation that will come will be a progeny of be hayai and immodesty. And if we look at the Good Friday, the Friday before Easter, which is a resurrection three days later, that this is the Nauzubillah, Son of God. So again, ascribing partners to Allah. And the Jewish observance of Passover is close to the Easter holiday as well. So it's a Judeo-Christian calendar. But uh, if we look at the Easter eggs and the empty tomb of Jesus, which was so-called found in the res resurrection, nowadays they color the eggs. The red color is synonymous of the blood of Christ, which was where he shed his blood. But it wasn't shedding of blood. It was the birth of shirk. And that was success for Shaitan and Iblis. So if you look at the Iranian spring holidays, also no rose, 
that marks the first day of the spring and the equinox. These painted eggs symbolize fertility and the Zoroastrians, they painted the eggs for the New Year celebration. And this tradition exists, existed at least 2,500 years ago and it was symbolic to the king, no rules. So, likewise many games have been in, in, induced and indoctrinated amongst the kids, whether it is the rolling of the eggs or the White House Easter egg roll. So it's the preparation, according to the University of Florida Center, they say that the origin of the Easter Bunny can be tracked to the 13th century, where people worshipped several gods and goddesses. So it is intrinsic of just shirk and then the Easter food is the lamb which the lamb will be sacrificed. The lamb of God, Isa alayhi salatu which is in there was Jesus. The lamb of God was sacrificed like how he was sacrificed. Shaitan also wants sacrifice to happen. So these Ayyam, these are days where we should increase in istighfar and tawbah for shaitan will come in different forms, have different rituals to distract the ummah and eventually he will consume one by one, consume our jannah and consume our akhirah. There were three cows in a fresh green pasture and they loved happily the white, the black and the brown cow. And they used to help each other and they used to graze in the meadows. One day a lion came from the forest and he said, yeah, three cows, I cannot consume them as long as they are together. So they discussed it amongst themselves when they seen the lion saying, that we need to remain together and never separate. So what the lion planned, one day he came and he said, How are you my friends? I haven't seen you for a long time. And uh, I've come to visit you and give you some good news. That there is another greener pasture and a brightened pasture. So shaitan doesn't let you leave evil and sp uh, sp doesn't... He wants you to leave for evil. He doesn't speak bad about the good you are doing. So he didn't say your pasture was bad, he said the other pastures are greener. So the reddish, the brown cow said that you have been very generous to us. The black and white cows warned the cow. So he said, no, which forest is a better pasture? They tried to convince him. Now he's seen secretly this brown cow was corrupt. He took to his nasiya, so set a light, the, it's going to set a light your akhirat and this television is going to tell you a vision and it will channel you. So the lion, Iblis channeled the brown cow and he said that you know they are very dark and one is very white, it doesn't fit in, you are like my color, Let, uh, let's join forces and he said that uh, you keep the black cow busy and I will consume the white cow, he doesn't fit in and so happened. Then two or three days later again he came to the brown cow and he said that see we have the same color, the black cow doesn't match so let me consume him and then you will graze all that you want and he conceded and the black cow was consumed. And now the lion came to the brown cow and said, it is your turn, get ready for I am going to devour you. He said, why? I am your friend. I did ever what you did. Uh, when shaitan will tell them, ukfur make kufr with Allah, falamma kafara, 
قال إني بري same words when you will tell shaitan I did what you said he said I got nothing to do with you so he said I did whatever you said why do you want to consume me the lion, lion said oh friend of the friendless how is it possible that a lion makes friends with a cow he begged him but it never helped the cow said Mr. Lion Please allow me to cry, uh, cry out three times before you eat me. He said, do what you wish, it's not going to help you. He cried out, I was eaten the very day the white cow was eaten. I was eaten the very day the black cow was eaten. And I was eaten the very day I made a deal with you. The lion consume, consumed him. Then it said, I finished my job in this forest. Now I will move to the next forest. We should not be caught by Iblis, Shaitan and his plotting and realize that every day is an opportunity to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not an opportunity to go further away from Allah. The amal for today is that a person who passes away in a place, a birthplace distant from his home. In rajula idha mata bi ghayri mawlidihi. A person who passes away other than his birthplace. The distance from his birthplace to his final footstep is me measured in Jannah. Mawtu ghurbatin shahadatun. Death in a place away from one's home. إذ إذ شهادة وآخر دعوانا أن الحمد لله رب العالمين. May Allah give us the victory of making our.